Well, hello. Um, last week I uh, saw John Wick 3, and I will talk about that soon, but uh, I saw that last Friday, the day after my birthday, and I've been meaning to talk about the John Wick films for a while now, but since, you know, it was an anniversary for a Star Wars film, I thought, you know, I should do that first. And now that I have, uh, and s having seen John Wick 3, I um, want to just talk about the trilogy. I'll do it one at a time. Uh, and I'm going to try and keep the spoilers to a minimum. And I only say that because I know some people haven't seen this series. Even though this October, the first film will be five years old. Um, it, you know, there are some who just haven't had the chance to go to the theater when it came out to see this. And for some, they just haven't, um, they just haven't watched it. You know, haven't gotten a, a DVD, Blu-ray, seen it uh, wherever it's streaming. So, you know, because of that, they just have yet to... I've seen the film, and, um, yeah. The first film, and this is the, uh, Steel Book from Best Buy, so. I've seen some other Steel Books now, they look a bit different. I like this one. This is the back. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll just give the gist of the film. Uh, John Wick is a former hitman. You know, there's a whole... In the world of John Wick, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a like a former assassin. There's like this whole place that you can go and become an assassin and obviously kill people for money. Um, but the, the what happens in the film is John Wick is. You know, he, he retired from being a hitman after given an impossible task, which he completed. And he uh, uh, met a woman who, you know, was, was the main reason for him to end his life as an assassin, you know, give that life up and retire, but she... Uh, had a, uh, had a terminal illness and dies. And what she does is uh, give him a beagle, you know, give him a dog, a puppy, to help cope with her loss. Since, you know, she, like, you know, she uh, didn't, like, she, you know, he likes cars. And she's like, you know, he might have a bit of a hard time coping with her passing, so she gets him a dog, which arrives sometime after she passes away, and from there, you know, he takes care of it really, uh, really a day, because, you know, he, uh, he's gonna go and get proper food the following day after he gets the dog, because... He didn't expect having a dog. I'm gonna put this down. No. But you know he, uh, the, the dog comes with him into town or where he has to go, and he has a old '69 uh, Mustang, and he pulls to a gas station, and as he does another car comes you know fills the car with gas and the guy and the guy who's like th there he uh wants to buy his car but it's not for sale for various reasons you know he's like sentimental and all that and he just just doesn't want to sell the car this guy is upset doesn't like that and he 
later on. They find where he lives and they uh, you know, steal the keys to his car, take the car. And then they, and they also kill the, his dog, which was like the last thing his wife ever gave him. And, and that was taken from him. And uh, you see John Leguizamo's character who, you know, has to you know, deal with cars and getting cars and modifying cars, fixing cars, you know, giving cars to people who need them. John, that happens. And he, uh, finds out his car, you know, is there. And, uh, the guy who stole it and is mastermind behind all of that, he's the son of a R Russian mob boss, who was the guy who gave him his impossible task, which led him to retire. And uh, throughout this, they explain John Wick is an expert assassin, and how like he's the guy they call him the boogeyman. It's like in a way, he's like he's the guy you you would kill the boogeyman. Hence his name. He's the boogeyman. You know, he, he could kill the boogeyman. That's how uh, how much of a master killer John Wick is. And throughout the film, we see characters who are part of his past. One of these characters is played by Willem Dafoe, who's his friend. You know. And we uh, throughout the film, we just see him, you know, not wanting to come back to that life, but because of what happened to his dog and all with the relation to his wife, you know, he's thinking, like, you know, I might be back. I, you know, he gave up the life for his wife. He didn't really want to come back, but it's, uh, You know, it's, <laughs> he felt like he had no choice but to essentially reemerge into that life. And, you know, that's essentially the gist of the film. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, but, you know, he does kill the kid and then does kill his father. His father's played by... Mikael Nyquist. Nyquist. Michael Nyquist. He's Swedish. Best known for the girl with the dragon tattoo trilogy, the Swedish version. And obviously this film stars Keanu Reeves as John Wick. Um, and John and I think Keanu Reeves is at his best here in this series. He's just fantastic. You know, of course, you know, the Matrix trilogy, Speed, uh, Bill and Ted... Uh, you can name various other, you know, action films. The Bill and Ted isn't really an action film, but it's one of his best-known films he's ever done. And 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 honestly, it's it's a, sort of served as a resurgence for him, because uh, for a while, you know, you really didn't hear a lot, a, lot, a whole lot from uh, Keanu Reeves. I mean, he was still acting, but he didn't, he didn't really have a huge, major, <clears throat> you know, film like this. You know, he hadn't really done anything like that in quite some time. Uh, I like this film, like an action film for some time, and it's really cool to see him come back and get into that sort of world, and then what, what, what makes John Wick really great is that it's a, a really an original action film. And the action in this film of the, uh, the gunfights and the hand-to-hand -hand combat, it's really interesting. It's stuff you would don't normally see in action films. And um, it's really cool. It's really amazing how his acting is really good in this, I believe, I feel. Uh, and he, he's just... Uh, 
I don't know, it's like he's sort of reinvented himself, that makes sense. Perhaps some might not agree with me, maybe he never needed to reinvent himself, but, you know, he, he, he hadn't been in a really huge major film in, in quite some time until John Wick. Um, let me see. Keanu Reeves in his filmography. Like, you know. He did a lot of smaller films. Uh, Constantine was a Quite a big film. Uh, yeah, there's, there's 47 Ronin, but that really wasn't a huge hit. Um, Constantine wasn't that. It was a financial success, but doesn't seem like a whole lot of people enjoyed that too much. Like it was like a, yeah, it wasn't like a huge, big film. In that it was, or sequels uh, emerged. Um, yeah, it's just one film, but yeah, John Wick is like a sort of a resurgence in a way of. For Keanu Reeves, and yeah, because uh, it's like the last, it's the most recent the series is a huge, big, successful film. Uh, he did a lot of other smaller films, but you know, this is a fantastic series, and there will be more to it. Uh, I'll talk about that sort of stuff later on. Probably, yeah. Uh, talk about John Wick 3 but yeah uh, if you've seen it what do you think do you do you enjoy it do you agree with the overall consensus that it's fantastic and one of the greatest action films of the at least dec last decade or did you not like it or are you sort of indifferent or it's okay but maybe it's a bit um, just a bit overhyped or when you see, you felt you know, it was very underwhelming and it wasn't worth the hype that it's, the reputation it's gained. Um, you know, what do you think? Is it good? Is it bad? You have an interest in watching it if you haven't? Uh, uh, or do you not care? Maybe you're just not into action films. Or maybe you do. But you just, I don't know, maybe there's something about this that you just weren't really interested in seeing it for one reason or another. Um, it is a good f uh, film. Uh, the franchise is good. So far, it's really good. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's really it. Uh, I shall continue this next week with John Wick 2. Until next time, have a good day. Have a good week, have a good weekend, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.